All right, so you ready to uh, really get into this whole motivation thing? Yeah, looks like someone's been doing their homework. We're talking intrinsic, extrinsic, even like some self-determination theory. Ooh, well, there, hold on. You gotta break it all down, right? Yeah, yeah, but uh, think about it, like music, different kinds of motivation, they hit different depending on, you know, the situation. Totally. You wouldn't put on, you know, like hardcore rap to like chill out, would you? Yeah, I mean, I guess that depends on the person. Maybe some people would. But uh, let's start with the basics, like intrinsic motivation. What is that? It's that drive that comes from inside. It's that, you know, I'm doing this because I love it feeling, not for like a reward or anything. Like when you're, you know, just totally lost in a video game. Yeah, or when you finally figure out that guitar riff you've been working on. That's intrinsic motivation. Yeah. Like you find that perfect beat, you just got to move. And the cool thing is there's research that shows that it's linked to all sorts of good stuff. More creativity. Yeah, exactly. More creativity, you're more engaged, and you even stick with things longer. It's like that fuel that keeps you going even when things get tough. But let's be real. We don't always wake up feeling like we're, you know, headlining Coachella. Right. Sometimes you need a little extra push. And that's where extrinsic motivation comes in. That's more like what? Think of it like a catchy hook, the kind yeah. that gets stuck in your head. It's like those loyalty cards you get at the coffee shop. Yeah, you keep going back for that free latte. Even if the line's out the door. But so is that good or bad? Well, it can be good for the short term, but are. if you rely on it too much, it can actually like, kill your intrinsic motivation. Like you play a song too many times and you just get sick of it? Exactly. It's called the over-justification effect. Over-justification, okay. Basically, you know, if you love to draw, but then someone starts paying you for every drawing you make... It becomes work. Right. It's not about the joy of drawing anymore. It's about the money. Whoa, that's trippy. Okay, so before we get into like the how-to stuff, we've got to talk about this other thing. Yeah, self-determination theory. SDT. It sounds kind of complicated. It is a little, but stay with me. It's really interesting. Okay. Basically, it says we all have these three basic needs. What are they? Autonomy, competence, and relatedness. And when those needs are met, our intrinsic motivation goes through the roof. Okay, so like STT is kind of a big deal. Yeah, it's like the foundation for really understanding motivation. So break it down for me. What are those three needs again? Autonomy, competence, and relatedness. All right, let's take those one by one. What's autonomy all about? Autonomy is like being the DJ of your own life. Calling the shots. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're in control. You're making the decisions. I like that. And competence. Competence is that feeling of, I got this. You know, like, you're good at something. You're leveling up. Exactly. And then there's relatedness. That's like feeling connected to other people. Yeah, it's about feeling like you belong. Like you're part of a team or a community. So it's like all three of those things have to be there for us to be truly motivated. That's the idea. When those needs are met, our intrinsic motivation goes way up. Okay, so how does this all tie back to that over-justification thing we were talking about? Well, there was this really interesting study where they gave kids rewards for drawing. Okay. At first, the kids drew more because, you know, they were getting rewarded. Makes sense. But then when they stopped giving the kids rewards, the kids were actually less interested in drawing than they were before the study even started. So they kind of like ruined it for them. Yeah, it's like giving someone a ton of praise for something they already loved doing, and then suddenly they feel like they're only doing it for the praise. Hmm, that's kind of messed up. Yeah. So how do we use rewards the right way, like without killing the vibe? That's the million dollar question, right? Yeah, it's like a delicate balance. I think the key is to focus on the why. Like, why are you doing something in the first place? If it's because you genuinely enjoy it, then the rewards should be like a bonus, not the main attraction. Okay, so instead of saying like, if you finish this project, I'll buy you a pizza. You say, wow, you totally crushed this project. You deserve a bonus. No. Got it. So it's more about recognizing the effort and achievement. Exactly. Hmm. Okay. So we've talked about intrinsic motivation, extrinsic motivation, and self-determination theory. It's all starting to come together, right? Yeah. But how do we actually use all of this, mm. like, in our everyday lives? Good question. Let's get practical. So it's all about figuring out what works for you, right? What keeps you motivated. Yeah, like what kind of music gets you going. Exactly. And yeah. it might be different for everyone. Okay, so how do we actually like curate our own motivation playlist? Well, first off, I think it's important to choose tasks that you're actually interested in, you know? Like if you're trying to learn a new language, 
pick one that you're excited about. Yeah, one that, you know, has some personal meaning to you. Maybe it's connected to your heritage or a place you want to travel to. Get real. Exactly. Yeah. And then once you've got your task set, small, achievable goals. Don't try to do too much at once. Right. Break it down into manageable chunks. So you don't get overwhelmed. Yeah, and then celebrate those small wins along the way. Give yourself a little pat on the back. It's all about positive reinforcement. Right. <laughs> and then what about those days when you just, like, can't seem to get motivated. You've all been there. I think on those days, it's really helpful to just focus on the why. That why? Yeah, like why is this goal important to you? What are you hoping to achieve? Sometimes you just need to re remember the reason you started in the first place. Exactly. And if all else fails, a little extrinsic motivation can be helpful. Like a little kick in the pants. Maybe promise yourself a small reward for finishing a task or find an accountability partner. Somebody to keep you on track. Right. But the key is to not become dependent on those external motivators. We want to build that internal drive. Exactly. It's all about finding that balance between intrinsic and extrinsic motivation and understanding how it all works. Well said. So there you have it, folks. The secrets to motivation unlocked. It's been a fun deep dive. Now go out there and create your own killer motivation playlists.